it's time for our video on Cedar Point versus Kings Island for the 2020 coaster. This is an interesting conversation, and I just want to remind everyone watching this video, it is just that. So I'm just going to discuss the potential of whether it's going to be Cedar Point or Kings Island for 2020. Um, there's a lot of sides to this argument, and I want you guys to comment down below during the video and after the video what side or what's your opinion on the matter. Um, I'll definitely give my opinion throughout the video. I'm going to stay a little like off of like the for sure kind of like what's going to happen basis because again I'm just a YouTube channel I'm just a Canadian I don't know what's going to happen in the end so please do not take what I'm saying as concrete information but as you can see here's a tweet from Tony Clark on Twitter um okay guys we need your help we're in the 150th anniversary meeting and want your opinion if we could bring back a retro Cedar Point food item you remember from years ago what would you want to see go so um, if you haven't participated in that, head on over to Twitter, Tony Clark on Twitter, and definitely give them your feedback or your opinion on what you would like to see return food wise. This does bring me to uh, another article that I'll link down below that just came out today. Um, I'm going to make a separate video on this article, so I'm not going to dive too um, deep into it. But um, something that they're talking about for 2020 is you can probably plan on there being lots of retro stuff hearkening back to our early history. Some of it from our history that must that most of us today remember. So things from maybe the 70s on. That's a big kind of era to go back to. Um, there's lots of things they could do. There's uh, flat rides. There's even like old roller coasters. I just I don't see those coming back. But they're definitely hinting at um, a lot of activities and entertainment options and almost like an atmosphere instead of a roller coaster. Again, I'm going to make a separate video on what that article dives into. Um, the article will be listed in that video as well. Um, but it's definitely starting to look like maybe Cedar Point has bigger or different things up their sleeves for 2020. Um, and we know over at Kings Island, there's a bit of different activities going on. There's um, there's kind of like uh, ride removals, you know. So Kings Island has ride removals coming up. Um, they have speculation going on on what could be occurring. There's definitely a lot of different things occurring over at Kings Island than there is at Cedar Point. We see Cedar Point focusing on, you know, Forbidden Frontier, an activity journey based um, world or um, atmosphere that you're going to go through. Uh, it seems like there might be high ropes courses or kind of like escape room ish type things like where you have to solve a puzzle and move on to the next. Um, so that's gonna be really cool. It seems like Cedar Point's going down a different route, which could lead some to believe that maybe Cedar Point isn't going to be getting another massive roller coaster in 2020. But I'm going to add that is very hard to believe. So Cedar Point is one of those parks that does see massive roller coasters added very regularly. Kings Island, on the other hand, is also a park that you see big roller coasters added pretty regularly. Um, and um, I'm going to have to say, so this is one of the parts where I'll give my opinion. It is looking like Kings Island is the more obvious choice for a coaster coming in 2020 with the things that are happening. So that's all I'm going to say there. With the things that are currently going on, Kings Island is looking to be getting the bigger coaster, in my opinion. Um, we aren't seeing any signs of a massive roller coaster coming to Cedar Point quite yet. Um, some enthusiasts have reported, though, that Cedar Point has stated they will be building a um, or that 2020 would be a much bigger year than Steel Vengeance. Again, that doesn't say too much. I haven't seen any proof of that statement myself, um, but I have heard that in the roller coaster community pretty regularly, um, and it is used a lot in terms of predicting what's going to come in 2020. Um, if I were to predict a specific roller coaster that's coming to Cedar Point in 2020, if there were to be one, I'm going to go with a flyer, a B&M flyer, um, a GCI, um, maybe even something like Silver Dollar City, um, what they just got, uh, like Time Traveler, that would be pretty awesome. I would really love to see Cedar Point step out of its um, kind of like comfort zone, and I would like to see them build something like Fly at Fantasia Land. I have nothing against BNM. Anyone that knows me in this channel knows I love BNM. I would just like to see something unique. I'm I'm kind of over this Intamin, um, BNM, RMC phase. They're amazing coasters. I want to see them everywhere else. 
I want Cedar Point to stand out. I would love to see them step out of their comfort zone and build something like Fly at Fantasia Land, something that's going to really wow the enthusiast community and stand out with others. I think Cedar Point has the funds. Um, they have the potential now. They have those amazing B&Ms, Intamins, and RMC now. Let's see something else. Um, if it's not going to be something out of their comfort zone, like a fly from Fantasia Land, again, hint, hint, that's what I want for Christmas, um, I would love to see an amazing GCI. I think they need that wooden coaster now. Um, but yeah, what would you guys like to see at Cedar Point if Cedar Point is to get a roller coaster in 2020? Um, I do want to stress, though, so this comes to my second opinion in this video. I do have to strongly state that I do not believe that Cedar Point and Kings Island would both get roller coasters in 2020. I just don't see that as an option um, as it would kind of hinder each other to have big roller coasters built at both parks. If both parks were to get a roller coaster in 2020, one would have to take the hit and not be significant. And I don't see them doing that to Kings Island again. And I most certainly do not see that happening at Cedar Point. So again, that does bring me to strongly believe that both parks will not see roller coasters in 2020. So it's in my opinion, it's going to be either Kings Island or Cedar Point. And it definitely comes down to Kings Island fanboys and Cedar Point fanboys kind of like debating on who's going to get the roller coaster in 2020. So moving on to Kings Island, why could Kings Island get the roller coaster in 2020 and not Cedar Point? Well, We've seen permits. The permits, in my opinion, again, another opinion in the video, do not suggest a roller coaster is coming in 2020. They do suggest that the park is working with specific manufacturers um, and construction companies to build signs, to build parts, to change parts. Again, we go to a park like Canada's Wonderland that's rumored to be getting a new B&M chain on Behemoth in 2019. Dominator. Um, is getting a new lift chain as well. So we know that the parks are getting new parts for their B&Ms, and that's all that permit suggests. So in my opinion, I'm throwing that permit out for now. I'm not going to use that permit as an argument. What I'm going to use as an argument is them removing a roller coaster. In Cedar Fair's history, again, for the most part, there are definitely examples that would suggest that removing a roller coaster doesn't always mean you're getting a roller coaster. But at their bigger parks, removing a roller coaster definitely means, in my opinion, they're going to see a roller coaster added. That being said, Firehawk was just removed. It isn't a, an amazing coaster for the enthusiast community, but it was a beloved coaster for the Kings Island family. And by Kings Island family, I mean the GP, um, the enthusiasts altogether, just anyone that goes to Kings Island or has been to Kings Island, it is a beloved coaster no matter how painful it was. So Kings Island needs to fill that void now. What better way than 2020? Kings Island needs a record-breaking roller coaster. Um, Giga has been teased. We have seen teasers throughout the park. We got Antique Autos um, for 2019. Enthusiasts felt underwhelmed. But who knows? Maybe those teasers were for 2020. Um, again, I'm going to give my opinion. I definitely am starting to think, and I was on the opposite side of the spectrum. So about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I was on the spectrum saying... Uh, Kings Island's not getting a roller coaster in 2020. I think Cedar Point's going to get the world record breaking roller coaster. It doesn't make sense that both parks would get a roller coaster. So I'm going to side with the park that always gets the world record breaking roller coaster. I just don't see Kings Island getting one in the same year. Blah, blah, blah. Insert um, <laughs> comment here. Um, now things are changing. I, there's more evidence pointing towards Kings Island getting the roller coaster than Cedar Point. I haven't seen any activity going on at Cedar Point. Some could argue that there's not really any activity over at Kings Island either. So it does ultimately come down to what you're seeing, what you're believing, what's your home park, what do you think is going to go on? I can't wait to read the comments below. Um, reading the comments below is probably going to be my favorite thing about this video. I understand this video is probably going to get a lot of dislikes as well because people... Um, from their home park are going to be fighting about which park is going to get a coaster and that's totally fine as well. I just want to invite you guys to comment down below what your home park is, 
What do you think is going to happen in 2020? Do you think it's going to be Cedar Point? Do you think it's going to be Kings Island? Do you think deep down that you're a strong believer that both parks could see a record-breaking roller coaster in 2020? I want to hear from you guys. What do you ultimately think is going to happen in 2020 for Kings Island and Cedar Point? Comment down below what you believe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on Kings Island versus Cedar Point. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.